Battle Royale games are the best. There's nothing like that adrenaline rush and anticipation as you choose the best strategic place to land for the maximum advantage. Strong friendships are built on these abandoned streets as you wait for or hunt other players. Darwin's survival of the fittest fits the theme of the games perfectly. If you're a mobile gamer who enjoys this type of game, then you'll enjoy the following list. In Free Fire, like other Battle Royale games, you're dropped into a remote location. Here, it's against 49 other people, less than we're used to with other games. And the rest is survival of the fittest. The duration of the game is 10 minutes. Drop your character anywhere you'd like with your parachute. Pick up weapons, set up ambushes to take out your opponents, hide, fight, and most importantly, stay within the safe zone. The 10 minutes you spend locked in Free Fire's battleground are intense and fast paced, but you know only one survival will emerge victoriously and you have 49 competitors to compete with to win that title. For such an amazing game, it's tragic that Free Fire isn't talked about as much as its siblings. It's mostly more popular in Asia and Latin America. Really, it's great all around. Unlike PUBG Mobile, which requires 2 gigs of RAM, Free Fire only needs 1 gigabyte of RAM. In May 2020, it had over 80 million daily active users. Number 9, Knives Out. No rules, just fight. Knives Out is also made by NetEase Games. Claustrophobic feeling closes in with every minute that passes with the ever-tightening Deadly Arena. Here, you're matched with 100 other players. You can play on your own or join forces with up to 5 other people. Knives Out is notoriously violent with vicious players knocking each other down for the win. You're encouraged to look for vehicles for faster transportation to escape both the players and stay within the safe zone. The game is updated frequently with new additions and seasons. In fact, Right now, new season 12 is underway and a new Knives Out race mode is available. A 50 vs 50 sniper battle is also available. The graphics are good and the advanced weapons are exciting, but there have been a few complaints about cheaters in the game, but the company tries to catch them to allow for a relatively peaceful time. Well, as peaceful as Battle Royale games get. Number 8, Rules of Survival. If Battlelands Royale and Free Fire were praised for the small number of players they allow, Rules of Survival is praised for the 300 players it allows. It's made by the same team that created Life After and IdenTV, so you know it's good when you hear they also have a Battle Royale game. Over 280 million people worldwide play this game, and although it originally started with 120 players that compete with each other to the last one standing, a recently updated 8x8 km map allows the gigantic number of 300. Whether you're Lone Wolf or you prefer to team up with friends, Rules of Survival fits all. Play on your own, in duos, or team of up to four individuals. Converse with the voice chat system and come up with a strategy to defeat your common enemies. Put your fighting, stealth, and strategizing skills to the test when the game launches you unarmed from the sky and onto a location of your choosing. With no proximity indicator, you'll have to rely on hearing and instincts to avoid other players. Number 7, Rocket Royale. Rocket Royale is a casual, fun game, but it's leagues ahead in its uniqueness. As you've probably already guessed by the title, their X Factor is related to rockets. While yes, your goal is to stay alive and fight other players, your bigger goal is to build a rocket and fly away from the island you're on. If you enjoy building or causing destruction, either way you'll have fun building and defending your fort and gathering material for your rocket, or you'll wreak havoc on the 100% destructible structures on the island. There are shrinking zones that force all 25 players together, but portals do exist for easy navigation. In the end, Rocket Royale is a refreshing twist on the Battle Royale scene. It still is bloodthirsty and follows the Darwin principle as the rest, but still, it's a pretty cool game. Number 6, Axe IO. Okay, hear me out. A Battle Royale, but it's with Viking. Compared to other games on this list, Axe IO is a pretty simple Battle Royale, but it's no less enjoyable. Their battles are 2 minutes long and you're free to swing around an axe to your heart's desire. Eventually, if you pick up enough axes and slay more enemies, your character will ascend to a higher state of consciousness. A short burst of rage called Berserk, during which you become an unstoppable, ruthless axe thrower with inhuman speed. If axes aren't your thing, you can also fight with swords and shields. If you look up and find a weapon being hurled at you, there's an option to swing and duck to avoid death. You knock down an enemy and you get gold coins in their speed. Use your money to buy new characters that come with a new, useful set of skills. There's a great option to play offline if there's no internet connection available to you. Number 5. Super Mecha Champions 
Super Mecha Champion sent out against its peers for its sharp graphics and different style. The landscape is a futuristic city with robots and anime characters. From a third person point of view, your mecha pilot trapped with 100 people and the goal is, you guessed it, to be the last one alive. A few of the location experienced players choose to land are the Ayumi Castle and City Hall, which contain lots of weapons and items. Items are highlighted in several colors, but purple means the item is rare. If you manage to stay alive long enough and have managed to take out one of your opponents, you can summon your mecha. There are five mechas you can choose from for free. Firefox, Arthur, Skylark, Caramel, and Hot Steel. Otherwise, the rest requires real money. Fly through the manga-style cityscape with your mecha. Players or pilots often fight with their mechas. One of the details listed on Google Play Super Mecha Champions is the line, Man vs. Man, Mecha vs. Mecha, which sums up the game perfectly. Number 4, Battlelands Royale. Battlelands Royale is more of a casual game than the rest of the Battle Royale, but it's a fun, no commitment, 3-5 minute game that works as a great ladder alternative to the big leagues like Fortnite and PUBG. There are 32 players and an impressive variety of items and weapons. Like other games, you parachute to your preferred spot, then you run and loot like your life depends on it. Wait out your opponents to do the slang for you in Camper's Paradise or run straight into the carnage with your armor and guns. If you're lucky and skillful enough to find a supply drop, you can find unique weapons like a bazooka. Be revived by your teammate if you choose to play in duo mode or go out in blazing glory on your own. Either way, Battlelands Royale is a worthy fun game that lives up to its promises. Number 3, Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty is one of the most loved and eternally trending series. The Battle Royale version of Call of Duty is exciting for a lot of reasons. One of them is the iconic maps featured from Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops. In a battleground of 100 players, from a first or third person point of view, fight for your survival and if you played Call of Duty before, this game will feel familiar to you. You can unlock famous characters, powerful weapons and gear. Modes like Team Deathmatch, Frontline, Free For All, Search and Destroy, Domination, Hardpoint are also pretty cool. Shoot with your favorite gun or rifle and hear that powerful pop sound that never fails to satisfy. Fly in helicopters and run through your favorite Call of Duty locations. A short, aggressively intense 5 vs 5 deathmatch is also available and the mobile version stands on its own feet. It doesn't feel like a cheap knockoff from the original version. It's just as intense and it's sold for the affordable price of free. Number 2, Fortnite. The iconic Fortnite. Fortnite was already popular as a battle royale on other devices, and its crossover to mobile devices was no less popular and powerful. The best thing about Fortnite Mobile? It's all the best features we love in Fortnite, but available at any time and anywhere. It still has all the combat, battle action building, the drop into a zone of your choice in a map of various terrains, that scramble for power, aka weapons and other loot when the game first starts. Build your fort and get ready for the battle of your life. Strategize with your friends on the best way to conquer your opponents or don your armor and head into battle on your own. When playing, and this is what Fortnite always had in the bag that distinguishes it from other games, is the building aspect. By using the harvesting tool and gathering materials, you can build walls and buildings to the extent of your creative imagination. Every week, you receive updates that contain new gameplay modes, new avatar looks, outfits, weapons, and much more. Though, it is purely cosmetic items. Number 1. PUBG Mobile. Full name? player unknowns battlegrounds. PUBG Mobile sits on the throne of being one of the top games on the Android Google Play Store. Since its launch in 2017, it's one of the reasons the battle royale theme is so popular and well loved. Build a squad, team up with a friend, or play on your own in one of the offered first or third person point of view. You and 99 other mercenaries are dropped from the sky in parachute and it's a desperate grab for weapons, ammo, and the best spots. Have your picking from which landscape you want to play in, from cities, frozen tundra, and jungle. Once you've mastered the controls and familiarize yourself with your surroundings, you're ready to engage your enemies. Alrighty gamers, that's going to wrap it up for this list. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to let us know so we can keep putting out videos just like this one by clicking the like button. You might also want to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell while you're at it, since we're always working on new content. Let us know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.